Question number 3. Block X of weight 10 Newton is stacked on a block Y of weight 20 Newton. Okay, this is of weight 10 Newton, this is of weight 20 Newton. Block X is fixed to a wall to a light string. Okay, there is a light string. Coefficient of static friction between the block on the X and the block Y on the ground are 0 0.2, which means what? There is a friction here. There is also a friction here. Okay. What is the value of the minimum force F required to move the block? Okay, how much you want to pull over here? And uh, what is the tension in the string immediately before block Y begins to move? When you are pulling it over here, what is the tension over here? So, tension is acting like this. Okay, we need to find both of them. Now, first we will start from the lower most block. When you are pulling here, what is the frictional force it will encounter? See, if F is the force acting here, there will be a frictional force here. There will also be a frictional force here, right? Because this block will also try to pull it. Because you know, the object's imperfections are like this, okay? Irregularities are like this. You are now trying to pull the object like this over here. This is your lower block, okay? So, as a result of this, now what can happen? So, it will experience both of them. So, if this force is equal to sum of these two forces, the object will begin to move, right? So, now let us write down the equation. This F should now be equal to 0 0.2 for the lower block, 0 0.2 multiplied by what is the total mg content over here? See, how do I find the frictional force here? Frictional force is nothing but mu times n, right? What is the normal force at this point? Normal force is acting here, which is nothing but equal to mu times this 20 Newton, this 20 Newton plus this 10 Newton, which is nothing but 30 Newton over here, right? So, therefore, I will write 30 over here. Now, we are accounted for this one. Now, let us look at this here. Now, what is the normal force acting at this point over here? Normal force acting here is this one, which is 0 0.2 multiplied by 10, right? Plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 10, okay? So, I have accounted for both the frictional force. So, this should now be equal to 0 0.2 into 40, which should be equal to 8 Newton. So, we have got the total force applied, right? The force, the minimum force that you need to apply so that the entire collection will now start moving is 8 Newton. So, therefore, these two are incorrect. Either of them should be correct. Now, let us look at tension here. Now, this tension, see if this has to be stationary or it is just about to move, then this tension will now be equal to, see for this, what is the frictional force here? If this is pulling like this, when the string is pulling like this, uh, there should be a force acting like this over here. What is that force? Frictional force, this should be 0 0.2 multiplied by 10, which should be equal to 2 Newton. Why do they get 10, 2, 10 here? Because it is the normal force here, mu times mg, okay? So, 2 Newton. So, which is the right answer? Answer A is the right answer, okay?